This is a presentation of a rotator cuff sparing arthroscopic slap repair with knotless all suture anchors. The case has begun with a dynamic examination under anesthesia with the arthroscope in the posterior viewing portal evaluating for instability of the biceps root as well as internal impingement. A standard rotator interval portal has already been established and an auxiliary low anterior working portal is now being established. With an oscillating shaver on burr mode, the superior aspect of the glenoid is prepared. A curved drill guide is placed through the high anterior rotator interval portal and placed just anterior the biceps root. A single all suture anchor is then placed first manually by hand and then finished by impacting with a mallet. The anchor is then seated by manually pulling on the anchor to fully secure it. A straight crescent arthroscopic suture shuttling device is then passed through the mid glenoid portal and around the superior labrum. Of note, great care is taken to not include additional capsular tissue when shuttling the suture around the labrum. The working suture of the anchor is then shuttled through the mid glenoid portal and then passed back through the working high anterior lateral portal. The working blue suture, as seen here, is then passed through the knotless shuttling anchor and tensioned appropriately to fixate the superior labrum. As can be seen here, the benefit of this knotless suture device is that it allows for modifiable tension. The anchor is then cut flush with the face of the glenoid. A high cuff sparing superior lateral rotator interval portal is then established first evaluating for the trajectory of the portal with the utilization of a spinal needle. Again, a curved drill guide is then utilized to place a second anchor just posterior to the biceps root. The anchor is seated in a sequential fashion similar to that of the anterior anchor. The working suture is then taken out of the high rotator interval portal can be seen here, the arthroscopic trocar provides superior tension while the spinal needle is placed through the navisor position, ensuring that the needle pierces the superior capsule and the undersurface of the rotator cuff entering the joint and then re-engaging the posterior labrum. Utilizing the PDS suture, this works as a passing suture for the working blue suture as seen here through the glenolabral junction just posterior to the biceps root. The looped end of the shuttling suture, as well as the working suture that is blue in this case, is shuttled out of the high anterior interval portal. The working suture is once again placed into the knotless shuttling suture, and the posterior labral complex can be manually tightened and fixated to the superior glenoid. The working suture is then cut flush with the face of the glenoid and with the use of an arthroscopic probe device, the biceps root is reprobed to ensure that the slap tear has been fully stabilized.